Hey guys, Leo Council Z2, and today I'm making a video with you guys. The 2018 seasonal brickheads that were just revealed. Well, it's mainly just the B, but we see some more of them. And I'm also going to show you the Star Wars Moses Lee Cantina set that was just revealed. So without further ado, let's get right into it. To start off, we have the Valentine special, which is the B. I think this looks like an awesome looking brickhead. I really like how they made the head, and I think this is. It's a really good design for the brick heads. It has an awesome um, kind of striped torso. And then I really like how they added um, some parts to the stand that you could attach to the side. And you'll see on the back that it's even removable and you can switch it around. And it just looks really, really cool like that. So I'm also going to show you the back of the box, which shows a bit more about the build and shows the rest of the brick heads. And as I, I said, you see here you can switch around the sunflowers with the roses. And what's also pretty cool is that it's even holding a heart and a honey basket, which is so awesome. And you can see the rest of the brickheads here. So at the top, you can see two of them, which is the bee and the so the, the Valentine's bee and the Easter bunny. That one's a pretty cool one. Uh, the only thing is that I don't really like how the Easter bunny looks because it doesn't exactly look like um, how how they would make the uh, rabbit ears but besides that I think it's a really cool brick head I just love how they made the teeth there and the um, torso how it has that arch kind of part in the middle I think that's so awesome and that's definitely really cool brick heads and next you can see here is the Halloween witch and the Thanksgiving turkey I think the Halloween witch looks pretty cool I really like how they added the nose um, because even though brickheads are known to not have any noses or mouths, I think it's like guys in general known to not have noses, they actually included that, which is a pretty cool detail, um, since witches usually have long noses. She also includes the broom and some, and I really, really like how they had those two, um, slopes on her arms, which are pretty cool. I really like the inclusion of a cape. And I love how they put the boots on the witch. I think that's an awesome addition. And I think the turkey also looks pretty cool. I really like how they use those pieces that they use on his feet. I think that's awesome. It also, he also has the gray head. And then has those like, red parts on him. I think that's pretty cool. And it even has the back of the turkey. I'd only say that the arms. I don't really like how they made it curved like that. Because brick heads are known to basically have their arms and then a one by 2 plate beside that. So that's really the only thing I don't really like about these th this build. The last two brick heads are both Christmas brick heads. We have Mr. Claus, aka Santa, and Mrs. Claus. I think Mr. Claus looks pretty cool. I love how they gave him that belt there. They gave him the sack, the dual molded legs, which is pretty cool. He has um, a pretty simplistic face because... It's just the face, but I love how they created that new beard piece. I think that's awesome. Um, well, the beard piece is pretty old, but like they created it in Brickheads for the first time. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I pretty, I really much like the overall design of it, and the hat definitely looks good. And then Mrs. Claus, I think, looks really cool. I love how they made the dress and included those flower pieces there, and then made it round at the bottom, and they made a tray of cookies, which is pretty awesome. Um, I really like how they created the hair there, because it kind of has the bangs, but it's curving inwards, and then it has all the parts, like, curving downwards. I think that's so awesome, and I think these definitely look like really cool brick heads. So, next, let's get into the Star Wars Mos Eisley Cantina. Next up, we have the Star Wars set, the Mos Eisley Cantina. And I think this set just looks so awesome. Like, look at all the builds, and yes, that droid in the back does it. Um, come in this set. It is included. I think this set just looks so awesome. I know fans for a long time have been waiting for the Mos Eisley Cantina, and it is finally here. We are finally getting the Mos Eisley Cantina for Star Wars. So I think this set looks really awesome. I really like how it looks like there's a play feature where that part could kind of fold over, but maybe not. Maybe just like that so that it could hinge over. But I love how they use those pieces to make it hinge like that instead of using actual hinge. Um, bricks. I also like how they made the chairs there and then it has a table. And I'm pretty sure there's even a mechanism where you could tilt the chairs side to side. I think that's pretty cool. And if you're wondering what that droid is that you could see back there, um, I think 
that was a droid that we saw when Luke was about to go into Unsensei Cantina with Obi-Wan, and the droid is right in front of there. If you go rewatch the Star Wars movies, you'll see what I'm talking about. And overall, I think this is just a really cool set. So, you can even see in the in the front of the Mosesley Cantina that it has, like, the bar there and it has all the, um, parts that the drink could come out of. I think that's just so cool. And this is definitely a really cool build. It also comes with four minifigures, which I'm pretty sure are Han, Greedo, the Mosesley, or whatever that is, and then the Stormtrooper. So, yeah, and... I think that's going to be it for this video, so I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Definitely let me know what you think about in the comment section down below. And I really like this. It's definitely a really cool new line of brickheads that we're going to get. It's definitely a twist to the normal seasonal builds. So I really like that. And the most healthy Cantina set is definitely going to be a fan favorite. But as I said, that'll be it. So see you guys later on. I'll see you too.